Thank you so much for watching Tomoshita Music. Today, I'm going to show you how to learn harmonic minor scale and how to apply harmonic minor scale over dominant seventh chord and more. All right, so first, can you hear me like this? So you hear often like you know C minor, C minor, C minor seven, and sometimes like B flat, A flat, and then G seven. That's where a lot of people use harmonic minor. But first you have to understand what's the difference between regular minor and harmonic minor or major scale. And let's learn this one. One string, uh, so so this is C. C harmonic minor. So you have to really understand C root D major second E flat flat three F is four G is five. Now here A flat flat six and major seven and root. So how many command has it the unique minor third intervals? Okay. Now back to regular minor. Can you play a regular minor scale? Root second flat three four five flat six flat seven. Can you play that? Or can you play C major scale? Why I don't play C major scale this way? That's good. That's in position playing. That's good. But if you use one finger approach, then you understand the intervals C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. So C, major second, D, major third, E, F is a fourth, G is a fifth, major sixth, and A, major seven, A. So B, you have to understand. So C major scale. Aeolian scale, natural minor. So you have to play slowly, really feeling what degree you are hitting. This way you don't have to memorize, you really have to understand. And you can do really slowly, okay? So that's harmonic minor scale. Then, you can play around the chord of form, you know. So my suggestion is first you use one finger, one string, and if you hit the wrong note, very clear. If you hit the right note, sounds good, you know. And no memorization. You really understand the ear training and harmony. So basically you are learning ear training and harmony. If you want to study more details like that, I recommend to study at the Guitar Wisdom, very affordable online course that I provided for you. Anybody can learn anytime you want, you know, it's really good, okay? Try. Now, harmonic minor scale. I told you this 
minor third. So there's arpeggio going from second note. You can practice like you know rhythm guitar like G7. So, minor third. Now, that scale, this C harmonic minor, C harmonic minor, and G7, G7, the 5 7 of 1, which resolve to C minor. So, there's a relationship. So, C minor and G7, 1 minor and a 5 7. You need to know a little bit theory. Theory is really simple rule after the music after the music music first okay rule is not first okay so basically music is already exist then use theory to analyze music so you understand a little bit more deeply but you don't have to be too picky about all the details okay because first you have to really understand the sound so now we understand minor third is very unique now it's time to analyze this scale, C harmonic minor scale over G7, which is G7. So you can play this to, to the, your looper or recording device. So it sounds like this. play C harmonic minor from G. So G root A flat 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 nine wall. B is major third. F is fourth. Not a, I'm sorry, not F. C and D is a fifth. Now now E flat now that's a flat six. Which is flat thirteen? And a plus seven. Root. So that's why name is Mixolydian flat nine, flat thirteen. Little bit of difficult name, but don't fool by name. Sometimes people call um, Phrygian dominant because the Phrygian scale is major third. But point is that's the scale that people use on a five seven. But you have to know more than scale you have to know the far you know like a phrasing so this is i learned from old records sometimes uh, i shouldn't do it almost a part of a kyoto you know is I play A flat major seventh arpeggio. That's a simple arpeggio but sounds good 
starting major seven. Then nine. And end on now. F for example. Now G7, I play major third, fifth plus seven flat nine. So this part is confusing. C harmonic minor now you count as G7. So it's it's still C harmonic minor. Tricky part is, I use a lot of phrases like that. That came from C harmonic minor. So now C harmonic minor, there's arpeggio. So like a minor third, like that. But I play from B. Okay, so watch out. B, D, F, and then A flat. Tricky. And that sounds really good in G7 because major third. Plus seven, plus nine. So do you understand? Let's review. First, you have to understand C harmonic minor. One string. Then gradually use a different fingering, different positions, so you discover different phrase, uh, different fingerings. That's must have. That's why you need to learn triads, scale, and different positions, especially uh, triads. Now apply that phrase in G7. from G like that so what happened is when you play uh, C harmonic minor over G from any note but C ha C still C harmonic minor so now sounds like a G mixed it in flat 9 flat 13 Name is difficult, but that's the sound. Then you are using major third, fifth flat seven flat nine from G seven. So first you play A flat major seven. C minor, B flat, A flat, G7, or just simply A flat major 7, G7, and a C minor 7.
that's good enough. All right. So today I will show you this speaker cabinet. Crazy, right? Eminent technology. <laughs> it's a flat panel speaker and sounds amazing. So I'm using BJF S100 and Ibanez. Little bit reverb from uh, One Control, Beth Reverb. That's it. Thank you so much for watching Tomo Fujita Music. And if you like this channel, please subscribe. And of course, you are welcome to join my Guitar Wisdom uh, course. It's amazing. Uh, all the details I teach there. So see you soon. Thank you so much. Bye.